now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, The Man Crisis. Learn why so many men are struggling to find their way in an increasingly gynocentric world in The Man Crisis. Get your copy of The Man Crisis in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today. Last week, we had another mass shooting here in America. And this shooting took place at the Mayfair Mall in Wisconsin. And after two groups of teenage boys had an argument and an altercation, a 15-year-old decided to take out a weapon and start shooting, sending eight people to the hospital for gunshot wounds. Now, many people would look at this as an isolated incident inside of that Mayfair Mall, and others would look at it as just another mass shooting as related to the trend of mass shootings here in the United States of America. But when I take a critical examination of this mass shooting that took place at the Mayfair Mall, I see it as yet another incident in America's continuing and ongoing and worsening man crisis. Now, when I take a critical examination of this 15-year-old Milwaukee boy, he fits the pattern and profile for many of the beta males I talk about in my book, The Man Crisis, because when it comes down to many of these beta males, these beta males oftentimes are feeling with their emotions and not thinking critically. And because these boys have been taught to feel in either the single mother household they've been raised in, or the divorced household they've been raised in, or the household with a beta male father in it, they do not know how to think critically, and they don't know how to think about the consequences of their actions. They are oftentimes taught to go out here and react based on their feelings regarding a situation, not understanding that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. And whenever you participate in violent behavior, the response is punishment by law enforcement. And these skills are not taught to these young boys because their fathers never taught them male life skills or male survival skills. And instead of them learning how to think critically in a situation where if they're having a disagreement with someone, they just need to walk away. These males oftentimes react on their feelings and they don't think about the consequences of their actions. And it probably looks like, in this case, this boy, as they were having this altercation in the mall, he got caught up in his emotions regarding whatever conflict was going on. And because he did not know how to navigate through his emotions, he decided to act on his impulses and he decided to pull out a weapon and start shooting inside of that mall, trying to probably hit whoever hurt his feelings and he wound up hurting over eight people with gunshot wounds because he did not think about the consequences of his actions. He was just so caught up in his emotions about whatever person had slighted him that all he was thinking about was getting back at that person for the short term but did not think long term about the consequences of his actions and this is par for the course with beta males because beta males oftentimes feel and don't think and because they sit there and feel they oftentimes again react without navigating through their emotions now a man who has been raised with a healthy father, he's going to teach his son how to navigate through his emotions because he knows that if he acts and does something, he could wind up having it could wind up having severe ramifications for the rest of his life. So he'll teach his son that yes, you may be feeling angry, you may have these feelings about what's going on, things may be tense and it may be making you anxious and nervous but you have to not act on those feelings because if you act on those feelings impulsively, you may wind up hurting other innocent people, one, and two, you may wind up hurting yourself because 
if you go out here and do harm to others, then law enforcement is going to make you accountable for your actions and punish you for going out here and doing harm to others. And that harm is going to do damage to your life later on. And this 15 year old boy really didn't think about the harm that he was doing to others and more what he was going to do to himself because now that he has been arrested for going out here and opening fire inside of the Mayfair Mall in Wisconsin, he now will be being put through the criminal justice system for injuring all of those eight people in that mall. And I guarantee you, he will probably be facing felonies that will probably follow him for the rest of his life. And this is what happens with your beta male. He winds up creating situations that wind up not only doing harm to the lives of innocent people, but also do harm to himself. And that's all because he doesn't know how to think critically in a situation about the actions he is taking inside of a situation where things are getting heated. Now, a boy who grows up with a father, when he sees things getting heated, the first thing he's going to do is get out of that situation before it escalates and gets worse. So the first thing he's going to do is exit from the situation because he knows the longer he stays in a situation where you have people getting argumentative, getting crazy, that the, the chances of him getting harmed go up higher. And that's what a guy who's rational and critical thinking is going to do. But a beta male, when he's inside of a situation where things are getting hot and heated, he's going to want to get up in his emotions and he's going to get caught up in his emotions and act on an impulse to go out here and do harm to others. And that's what makes your beta male an extremely dangerous situa person in a dangerous situation. And this is exacerbated by things like the COVID-19 pandemic where people's or emotions are tense, people's emotions are high due to the high unemployment and the tense situations as related to people's housing and financial situations. People are on edge and this is, this is exacerbated when you have a large population of beta males out here. And these beta males are a powder keg seek, looking to go off and most Americans they don't know how dangerous these beta males are until they actually go out here and explode. And again, it's always a case of when this beta male is going to go off, not if. And that's what makes these beta males extremely dangerous. And these beta males are a clear and present danger nobody's paying attention to because most people are caught up with COVID-19 that they're not thinking about the clear and present danger of the beta male in our society and how this is exacerbated because of our economic situation which is triggering a lot of violence in a lot of these beta males and this this violence again is going to get is only going to get worse instead of better because most people in America even though we've got all of these problems from COVID-19 as related to our economy and even related to people's mental health they're not really acknowledging the man crisis that's going on here in America and has been going on here in America for the last 50 years. And over the last decade, we have seen an increase in these mass shootings. And this year, it has been stated that it may be the year with the most mass shootings in history. And most people don't really want to talk about why we're continuing to see an increase in these mass shootings because to talk about why we're seeing an increase in these mass shootings means that America has to take a look at America's feminists and take a look at America's single mothers. And we, that means we're going to have to change the way we do business in our economy because it's clear that all of these beta males come from one source and that source has been proven from research to be the single mother household and that single mother household has created a 
large population of these beta males and this large population of beta males is again a ticking time bomb looking to get set off and it's again a matter of when not if these beta males go off but most people in America don't want to deal with this man crisis because again they don't want to confront America's mothers about the way we raise our sons and we don't want to confront America's women and let them know that the way we they have raised sons and this feminist culture is creating a toxic environment for boys and it's making them grow up to become dysfunctional young men who don't have critical thinking skills, who can't use logic and reason, and cannot problem solve without getting nine millimeters of courage or some sort of semi-automatic weapon to solve their problems because these males never learned basic male life skills from another man and they didn't have a father in their lives who was active and could give them guidance on how men do things and this is why so many boys like this 15 year old boy have grown up lost and are now going to be dealing with the criminal justice system instead of going home after a day at the mall. Now if you want to learn more about why boys go out here and participate in mass shootings and get violent like this you can pick up my book The Man Crisis on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format and you can also find it on Smashwords, the iBook Store and Google Play. And if you want to see me make more videos about men's issues you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal or my Cash App by clicking the link in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback, those who refuse the gift of eternal life are condemned to wander in the darkness of eternity.